20 things you love about Smash Ultimate. Get off the screen, Min Min. Nobody loves you. And make sure to drop a sub if you love any of these things. You love hitting spikes. It feels so satisfying and disrespectful at the same time. You love the roster. There's literally a character for everyone. And if you don't know or like anyone in it, you probably don't like games. Every one of the 80 characters have so much detail put into them. Well, I mean, Sonic could have more detail, but that's not the point. Just think of this. Cloud, Mario, Sonic, and two puffballs are in one fighting game. It's amazing. But I mean, Waluigi still ain't in it, so the roster kind of stinks. <laughs> you love how balanced Smash Ultimate is. There's only like two characters that you can't place well with consistently in tournament. And even that's debatable with players like Peanut existing. The entire roster can be good if used correctly. It's not like Brawl where Meta Knight and Ice Climbers run the game or Smash 4 Bayonetta. You can genuinely pick your favorite fighter and destroy your friends with them if you're simply better at the game. You love how good online is. Wait, wait, who the hell wrote this? Online sucks. <laughs> you love how broken Steve is and how he gets buffed every 48 out. Wait, seriously, who the hell is putting this in the script? Anyways, let's get back on track. You love how beautiful the game is. There is so much attention to detail put into everything. From the stage backgrounds to the character models, everything is amazing. Plus, the game runs like butter. Smooth 60 FPS all the time. It's not like other games on the market. <clears throat> Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You love watching competitive Ultimate. There's major tournaments every other weekend, and the competition is so stacked that so many players have good shots at winning. You never know what to expect, and you love that. You love the music. There's so much variety with all the different series. I mean, if you don't like the music, then you just don't like music. There is something for everybody. This dude right here, you love him. Everybody loves Sakurai. He created Smash Bros and put his heart, sweat, and tears into making it. Just listen to this. He is so dedicated to making the game great. And speaking of which, I did find already two or three bugs while watching this tournament. <laughs> so with that said, I need to go back home to Japan and get working. So I'm going to take a midnight flight tonight and uh, start work tomorrow morning. Woo! And you love him for that. Yeah, you love hitting that juicy sweet spot. It's so satisfying. You love destroying people that spam and abuse online lag. <clears throat> Ness, Min Min, Samus, King DDD mains. I mean, I can go on. So many of you, I know you abuse lag. It feels so good to destroy your opponent with a zero to death combo, and you love that. It makes you feel like you're so godlike. Something underrated is when you finally figure out your opponent's habits and destroy them for it. It makes you feel so big brain, especially when you destroy a Samus for camping. Man, I love that. We all love watching and making those juicy comebacks. Sometimes it feels like MKLeo purposely goes down 2-0 in the set, or almost gets 3 sock just to get some adrenaline going and make stuff interesting for the viewer. Dude's a legend. You love my YouTube channel, and that's why you're gonna smash that subscribe button and like the video. Okay, that was kind of cringe, my bad. You love seeing low tier characters go on crazy runs in tournaments. It's so cool to see a player win against bad matchups and defy all odds. And it gives other people that main the character hope that the character might not be complete trash. You love destroying that player that is obviously better than you with straight cheese. And I've definitely made my brother rage with broken cheese moves before which i should honestly stop because our controllers are getting stick drift from the rage no god please no no you love the storylines in competitive ultimate right now the fight for number one is closer than ever with the cola spargo tweak and mkl all having a chance at it there's other storylines like big d's rise with ice climbers who were a heavily slept on character with no tournament success before or yoshidora and kameme potentially being top 10 in the world while having a family there's so many storylines that make the Smash Bros timeline incredible right now. You love watching somebody rage at a Smash tournament. It's hilarious to see someone get destroyed by Steve and rage. Trust me, I've raged multiple times while playing Smash. What is this? You love King DDD's crouch. It's such a meme, dude. You love theorizing what characters can and will join the roster. It's so cool that basically any character can join. I mean, for crying out loud, Steve and Sora are in the game. They are huge IPs that before Ultimate, we dreamed to be in Smash Bros. It's awesome. Personally, I need Waluigi to join the roster. Okay, I'll shut the hell up about Waluigi. <laughs> That's 20 things you love about Smash Ultimate. If you enjoyed the video, drop a sub, like, all that good stuff. And check out this video on 10 dumb ways you've died in Smash Ultimate.